I'm just going to show you how to uh, fix stitching errors when it comes to shooting long exposure nighttime photographs with waves in them. Now you'll see here this image. Now this image is not my photo. This is one by Paul Wilson, who's down in Christchurch, New Zealand. And you can go visit his page here, Paul Wilson Images NZ, on Facebook. And so he's gladly lent me this image to demonstrate how, or what we're looking for, and how to fix them. So uh, at a glance, this image looks fantastic, but on closer inspection, there's a couple of things that we can tidy up. Now you can see here where the images haven't quite lined up and the horizon's a bit jumpy, and the waves don't line up. This one problem with shooting panoramas with waves in them is that they're never going to line up. The waves are always moving. Um, and you can see here also the horizons jumped and the waves are mismatched. Uh, the rest of the image looks pretty good. So first of all, what we're going to do is create a new layer in Photoshop. Using the clone stamping tool, just going to select this area here and just use a um, press 5 to change your opacity to 50% or 6 for 60. I like to use 50% just to slowly blend that back in then also pick this side and blend that until you get something that's more consistent with a long wave you can see there before after now you can also notice that during because we're using a lower opacity, the noise isn't going to match up, but we can fix that later. So let's find areas that look like they could blend in as if it's another wave. And same goes for this side here. Let's tidy this bit up. We don't, we don't need it to blend perfectly, just enough to show that there's no join in the image. Now I've just reduced the opacity to 20% just to get that looking good. Now this part here I, I quite like, just that wave going through there. It's just a gradual, you know, you don't need to rush these things. They do take a little bit of time to get right. So if we pull back to full size, you can see there, waves looking a little bit better. So before, after, so just gently blending them in. Now you can see what's happened here. It's kind of duplicated that spot, so that's going to be a really quite noticeable so we want to blend this bit to be a little bit different just like that all right so I'm happy with that as a demonstration of what we can do just to tidy those up now what we're going to do now is we're going to fix this horizon line. So if I pull down a ruler, you can see it starts down here and goes up, goes below the ruler, quite below the ruler, all the way to and it tips up in the end here. Now we could straighten the horizon in Lightroom to get it overall how we want it. But I'll show you another way 
just turn that ruler off that we can how we can fix this um, again with stitching panoramas you, sometimes the horizon is going to be a little bit wonky uh, select the marquee tool square uh, feather it to about 10 pixels now I'm going to select area I'm going to do this in stages because you want it to line up the best you can so I'm selecting a small area like this and I've got the background layer selected uh, command C and then command shift V to paste in place so you can see I've selected that area there now what I'm going to do so I'm going to stretch this sideways and stretch it this way. So around about there. Now I'm going to apply a motion blur and set it to zero degrees. I want it to blur out that noise. So it looks like we're getting more of a straighter horizon. It's not too bad. And now I'm going to do it again with another selection over here. Copy and paste that. Stretch that out. Command F to repeat that motion blur again. So now I've got these two layers of horizon. Now they're not going to perfectly match up just yet, but we can fix that, no sweat. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to get the horizon colors to match the sky on that area of the image. So I'm just going to repeat these steps. Command F to motion blur. So with those three layers, doesn't quite look right at the moment, but getting there. So the first one, this one here, I'm just going to add a layer mask, eraser tool, lay it out there, 50% uh, opacity, and just gently erase that in. Take on the next one, I'm going to send that behind that one. And I'm just going to add a layer mask to that. Erase that one, and then add a layer mask to this layer, and erase, and erase, and brush a bit smaller. All right, now we get to line these layers up. We'll find where, roughly where we want horizon to be, about there. And turn this layer on. Get that horizon lined up. I'm just going to move this down a little bit. And we'll turn this layer on and get that lined up as well. Turn that roller off, full view. So we're starting to get quite a nice straight horizon. Turn that, send that one back to the bottom. So now we've got those, we're going to put those in a group and toggle that on and off. So now I'm going to use the marquee tool with a one pixel feather and I'm going to select down to the horizon line and then mask. Now that's going to mask the top part, so I'm going to invert that mask, command I, and it gives us a nice straight horizon. And then now I'm going to feather that just to ease it in a little bit more. So the horizon line is now mimicking the colour of that original sky. 
if we just go through and tidy up this area here, so this layer here, just kind of quickly use select this area here and delete that from the mask and then command shift i to invert that selection I'm just going to brush this back in all right so now what we want to do is match the noise of this image, but we also want to do it to our clone that we've done before. So I'm going to create another group with all those layers, so it's all on one layer. Create another layer. Now you could go shift delete and go fill 50% grey. Um, and I'm just going to select an area of that grey, because we don't need the whole layer. Uh, copy, paste, I can delete that layer. Now this is where, where we're going to add grain into to match the overall grain of this image. Now if I hold down Alt or Option click, that's going to apply that grey layer just to that group. I'll zoom in closer, and now we've got just to add a little bit of noise. So you can see here how fine this grain is versus the grain of the original image. If we increase that, it's going to get obviously grainier, but the fineness isn't going to make it bigger. So what we'll do is we'll apply about this much, then Command T to transform. Let's choose that edge there. I'm going to go about 150%. That's getting closer, um, but all we can see now is grey noise. So we want to apply a layer style of overlay. So it's getting a bit closer. So we'll probably actually reduce the size a little bit. So that's looking pretty good. Now looking at it, it's a bit more sharpness in that horizon, so I'm going to reduce the feather to one pixel. Let's 